What's going on, guys? Hope you're having a great day today. My name is Steve. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Today, I'm joined again by my wife, Lindsay, and we are going to be reacting to London Christmas Lights. Um, we were actually given the idea or recommended to check out the London Christmas Market by uh, Glenn, who sent us a package a few days back, and uh, he's from Edenbridge, mm -hmm. wasn't that it? Yeah. Um, I think he was 11 years old, and uh, so we were searching for the uh, London Christmas markets, and we came across this particular video and was like, okay, we've got to check this out. Uh, so while this isn't the London Christmas market, this is going to show London Christmas lights, and maybe we'll check out the Christmas market uh, some other time. I would but, like to. It looks cool. Yeah, it did look cool based off the thumbnail. So um, but, There was a lot of London Christmas stuff, it yeah. seemed like. Yeah, it seemed like London must be a city that does a lot of different activities and decorates for Christmas a lot and whatnot because there seems to be a ton of videos <clears throat> about London at Christmas. But I know there's also a lot of other cities around the UK that do pretty cool Christmas things as well. So if you have any recommendations, please feel free to drop them in the comments. But uh, And side note, we are going to do the Christmas adverts mm. too. I know a lot of people have been asking for that. So we are going to do it. I don't, I don't think I've pulled up a video or found a video in particular for that. So if you have any ideas of a Christmas advert compilation or what Christmas adverts you think are the best for us to check out, please leave them in the comments section because we, you know, I think, what is it? Is it John Lewis's one, I believe? And I know like some grocery stores like Sainsbury's mm -hmm. and some others do Christmas adverts, but I'm not really sure which are the best to look <laughs> into. So uh, let us know in the comments, guys. But uh don't really know what to expect here. You got anything you want to add before we start this video? I'm excited. Yeah, me too. We both love looking at Christmas lights. Um, you know, I don't know. Like, I know at uh, in the UK, they really don't decorate much for Halloween, right, you know, on average. Right. But I think it's completely different for Christmas. Let us know in the comments, guys, if that's the case. But I do believe, based off of London here alone, based off the thumbnails we saw, it seems like there's a lot of Christmas decorations and stuff going on. Uh, I know here in the U.S., uh, houses, some people's houses, can go over the top. Like, I mean... I wonder how this compares to New York City. I know yeah. New York City, I've never been there. I or have. at Christmas time. Have you been at Christmas time? Yeah, I, I growing up, I spent quite a bit of time in New York. Cause my my daddy had actually dated a woman from New York City, and his, his best friend lived in New York City. That's so. the only thing comparable I could think of, maybe that might possibly be similar in the U.S. Right. to the London Christmas. Right, that's what it, and possibly I can see that being the case. So let's see. Yep. Let me put on my. <laughs> Is this actually the first time you've actually looked into London, like at all, like like seeing different I mean, parts of the city or whatnot? Just like what you see in the movies, or right? But you haven't like <clears throat> that's not something we've reacted to together. Or anything about London, right? The library, the library, yeah. but nothing about anything else in the city or whatnot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, by the way, I don't know. I can't imagine the snowy look here is real, but if it is, that's well, it's just beautiful. It doesn't it it look beautiful. like a beautiful it's city. So pretty. Yeah. I mean, I love the bridges. Yeah. And how they're lit up at night. It's just, it's a really pretty city, especially at night. And I definitely need to explore London a bit more because it's such a large city and there's so much going on there. But uh, yeah, you got anything you want to add before we get started? No, let's do it. All right, let's check this out. Let's check out London Christmas lights. Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome to the greatest city in the world at Christmas. I'm here to check out greatest the London the Christmas, Christmas lights Christmas. and some of the best displays it across the city. It kind of looks like it might be based off the thumbnails. And oh my goodness. It's so wow. Wow. Okay, yeah, he might be right. Wow. Sophia would love this. Wait, 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 wait. There is a famous toy store in London, right? It, it, like, I've seen it in movies and whatnot. I can't remember Herod's? the name of it. Someone is Herod's this toy store? Is that? I, I've heard of Someone Herod's. mentioned the toy store in a letter that we received, and I can't remember the name of it. But I, I think it's like a really famous, you see it in movies and whatnot. Mm. And Do you know what I'm talking about? I want to say Herod's, but I don't know if Herod's is a toy store. I can't remember. Was that what we were just seeing? I think it was. There? Sophie would love to go there. She would love the whole well, We need to. We need to, like, guys, tell us what that famous... London Toy Store is. I'd like to do a reaction to that and check it out. I think Sophia might would actually like checking That's that out. True, yeah. Yeah, so. That'll be a good one. Um, yeah, so, yeah, anyways. Oh my God. Dude, they go all out. I'm starting here on the famous Regent I Street where the winged angels have returned. And let's be honest, so I think it'd be weird if the winged angels weren't here. 
Regent you Street. You get a full immersive experience. I know that road for some Walk along the street. Probably street. The main... Oh, dude. Yes. For some reason, I know this corner here. Do you recognize this corner? Like, yeah. think about it. You don't? Maybe it's just because I've, you know. <laughs> You've seen a lot of stuff. Yeah, like, but for some reason, I recognize this corner, and I don't know why. I don't know what is so special about this corner. Mm -hmm. I can tell based off this building and this building right here. I don't know. I, I love Amazing. the I love the look of this architecture. Yeah, it's, they're just beautiful buildings. They are. To try not to get run over. Someone's doing a photo shoot. Yeah, but we've been, we've been begging. I'm surprised they've never a good place to do a photo shoot. Had like some professional photographers up here to take your photo because this is the best place to get your photo of the winged angels. I think you get a much better view from here as well. And what people love to so do funny. is get that iconic really shot of the winged angels and a London bus. If you can get that photo, <laughs> you've hit jackpot. And one of the big draws, of course, is Hamley's. Just here and the Hamley's. Christmas window. Is that, the is that it? Is store. Is it? See what they've got this year. Super busy in there. Sophia would love to go there. there too. And the employees are dressed in old suits. That must Wait, have that say a long time. No. Some of the place all what did that say? Did that say 1760? No way. Where is it? Right. Oh, I missed it. 1760. 1760. Wow. We need to do we need to do a uh, reaction to that. I think that'd be really interesting. Yeah, so if you that must have took a long time for some of the place all those horses, cows and dinosaurs <laughs> up there. They must glue them on. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. How many have even got their own festive tour bus this year? <laughs> There's some big nutcrackers. So the first time I ever did the Christmas lights was in 2020, just literally before, stroke after, we were coming in and out of lockdown and these streets looked completely different. I kind of did, however, oh, wow. like the this old so lights they used to have, is. the One London, and messages going across Oxford. the street. Oxford street. But these seem to be back this year. I'm overly a big fan of Oxford Street's Christmas lights. But I'm here to go and check out a couple of famous shops and their Christmas window displays. John Lewis. Oh, wow. Street. There's a bit of a gap in the Oxford Street Christmas lights this year, look. I'll never forget in 2020, when the pandemic was going on, there was a lonely Santa just stood out there. I'll put a link up to the video I'm talking about. If you really want to see London at Christmas in a completely different way. Wow. Look now at that, that is pretty cool. Oh so if you've ever goodness. sent a luxury hamper at Christmas, can you imagine sending one this big? No way. Look at that. You've got what is that? There. Hot chocolate. That's the hair nuts. package for Christmas. That? Christmas. That right there? No. Blackpool might have one of the largest glitter balls in the world, but Selfridges <laughs> has a pretty big one. It's a Christmas pudding disco ball. Christmas pudding Apparently disco they do take well over a year planning with drawings wow. to get these in the shop. Wait, well over a year, so they're already planning next year's. Probably. It does make you think what it's actually sure. selling. Wow. What is that? <laughs> Tato? <laughs> It's like what washing up store is this? Like I think he said Harrods, didn't he? Didn't he? In previous it years, like they had a big Santa up there. Last year, it was a lonely Christmas tree doing a weird dance. This year looks even odder. <laughs> Still not as good as 2020's Santa Claus sitting on top of your eyes on the pies. Yeah, especially mince pies going into an oven. Weird oven, though. And so <laughs> let's go. So one thing I'm curious about is, like, when we're seeing these lights, what is the different store? What are the different stores putting on, and what are the what is the city of London well, putting on? I'm assuming anything on the street. Right, I think this is this like these lights that are like above and the angel and the stuff, city. the city. But I'm curious, like when you see like the Christmas tree lights on the sides of the building or the fronts of the buildings, mm -hmm. I wonder if that's the department stores that are doing that, or if that's know. the city. Let us know in the comments, guys, what, what exactly is the city doing here and what exactly are the different stores uh, Look how busy it is. Here. What is London? I London's know, always going to be the, busy. Like that, though? I don't know. Or is this just a Christmas I stopped thing? it at a pretty bad, yeah. blurry time. And check out Covent Garden. It is really busy, though. It's like Which New York, though. New York will be this busy, busy as well. 
as most evenings are Perfect. in the build up to Christmas. This is beautiful, it's man. The I think iconic it's the Christmas nags shopping. head. Oh, that looks nice. Nags, I tried yeah. to go in there for a drink earlier. Failed. Good luck. It looks like it's packed. And by the way, I'm not this tall. Although that guy in front is pretty tall. <laughs> some festive nuts going on. Roasted nuts. You can't beat some good old London hot chestnuts. So last oh, year's theme was uh, from frozen musical outside of Covent Garden. I don't think I've ever eaten chestnuts before. Me either. Garden. No? Very unfestive, but there's Bumblebee from Transformers. <laughs> and also a random dinosaur. What is that up there? It's also a very busy night for street performers around Leicester Square and here in Covent Garden. Oh, did you just see the I'm not quite sure. Booth? This guy is doing some kind of there is the red magic. Oh, the... Like, you know, that's like a typical thing right. you think of when you think of London. Do they still have payphones in them? I believe so. I know, I, I, I read it to a video of, oh, what was the village's name? It's an, it an old village that... Uh, the the citizens of that village were forced to move out by the government mm -hmm. uh, during was it World War Two I believe I can't remember um, I think it was World War Two and they they were told they could come back but they were never allowed to come back and basically the government just uh, used it as like a military I can't remember what exactly they did with it <laughs> but uh, anyway basically the village is, was left basically I'm frozen in time from 1940 yeah. or whenever it was and. The phone is still exactly the same too. Like, and it's just right, like sitting there. Right, places like London. Right, right. I'm just saying the same type of phone booth. Yeah. So, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Around here, you don't really ever see a no payphone. No, anymore. you do not see tell. You don't. You not see payphones here. I mean, you every once in a while you might come across one, but, but it's, it's very, very rare. rare. You're probably going to come across a payphone in the middle of like some really, really uh, small town that hasn't changed much and whatnot. Um, you know, like if we go through South Carolina, drive through one of those small towns mm -hmm. that are kind of run down, you see some of the old payphones sitting there, yeah. but they're not as cool as the red ones you can get right. into, like with the doors and stuff. Ours are just like these, uh, Luckily, yeah, hanging really, on the side of a building yeah, or side of a pole or something. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Who needs the West End when you've got Magic. the good old streets of London? So here we are at Covent Garden. Looking all beautiful. We'll go and check out the Christmas tree in just a moment. Is a train station of I That's what I was thinking. Oh, it is. Oh, Garden Market. I do love the Christmas trees out here. Covent Garden Market. Real festive oranges. Is that the London Clementines. Christmas Market? There's a real Clementines oh, yeah. as well. And real spices on the tree. They smell amazing. There's apple here. It is real. I wonder nice what the budget is cinnamon. for all these decorations. Oh, my goodness. It's gotta be Dude. Astronomical. Everybody needs a Prosecco, man. That's a huge magnum there. So this is new for this year, and everyone's asking, what is it? Dolce & Gabbana a shop. Christmas Market. Why do I know that? Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, it's a designer brand. Oh, okay. Ridiculous but people are very expensive. inquisitive to see what's in there. And the Christmas baubles are back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Although they do look a little bit different this year. Fact, it almost looks I wonder like what they, they do here at this the, market. The red glaze on them that they is this like a farmer's market? Or? No, I think it's and the like mistletoe. Christmas looking amazing. No, I'm We're saying like when it's not Christmas all year round, like what exactly um, this is. is it? I have no idea what this guy's doing. I just came around the corner, I thought I could smell mulled wine. What kind of wine? M-U-L-L-E-D. Oh. How much is it though? Hot spice cider. Some mulled wine. £2.50 for a mince pie. Oh, I'm not sure nice. if I like these white baubles, if they're meant to be like that or they've just had a bit of an issue this year. People having their work Christmas party maybe? There is like no hey, right of way. Did you see People that? Just yeah. walking. Okay, so I want to go back for a second. Sorry guys. Uh, Shake Shack. And the reason I brought that up, Sass and Bell. So this is, this market maybe like it, is like a shopping, what we consider a shopping mall. Sort of. Yeah, but right. It looks like an outdoor, right? It looks open like an air market. Yeah, open air market. And it looks like it's maybe food. Is it food or? Well, a I think it's. I think it's multiple. I think we got food. I think we probably have. I don't know. Sass and Bell. That doesn't sound like a restaurant to me, but maybe it is. It sounds like a, like some sort of a, like Clothing a small. Store yeah, like something like that. Okay, so that, I think that's what this is. It's I was an wondering, open air an open air market is what this is. Okay. okay. And so I was wondering if this was like a farmer's market or something, but no, it looks like it's just like they have the same stores year round here, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. What was this called? 
Covent. Covent Garden. I would say Covent. Covent. He said Covent. Covent Garden. Garden. Market. I don't know. That's interesting. I want to check this out. Just see what all this is. I think it's just like a mirror market, like you said, though. There is like no right of way either. People are just walking everywhere. <laughs> the amount of times I've knocked into people and they've knocked into me. Oh, You've there's got a to Christmas watch out tree. For pockets as well in Covent Wee. Garden. Wow. Oh, How cool display. is that to get a photo here in Covent Garden? A That's real cool. life sleigh with presents on the back as well. <laughs> and the big draw wow. in Covent Garden is their humongous Christmas tree. All those Which lights. you'll probably find really difficult to get a selfie of. That's beautiful, man. Get small street artists doing their thing here <laughs> from this angle. Wow! Wow! Oh. It's huge! It's beautiful. Imagine it trying to decorate that thing. Took a crane to pop it into. Wow! Its I love the blinking <laughs> light on that. So pretty. It really is. I love how. They do go all out in London. Look at this. Yeah, they like definitely do, there. man. That is a really beautiful winter garland in this hotel. <laughs> I mean, just walking down this little strip, hearing Americans, Canadians, Spanish, French, German, <laughs> people coming from all over the world, obviously, to see London at Christmas. And why wouldn't you? So on the way now to Leicester Square, they've got their Christmas fair, stroke little Christmas winter wonderland market that's popped up in the middle of Leicester Square. Okay. And yeah, I caps. don't I don't know the layout of London at all. Well I, I, I don't know it real good either. I mean I got so a lot of I don't know so. where he's at is just like a little pocket shopping center area or what, but it feels very small and not it doesn't have a typical city vibe like it just seems feels very, like it's very walkable yeah. like very uh yeah i kind of get what you're saying uh, it's it's it, almost like a small town feel in, at least in some areas city. yeah like, right and maybe that is the sections we're yeah. in i don't know let us know in the comments guys because i'm sure there's because i don't think new york city feels like that <laughs> i've been new york city plenty of times and it doesn't feel like that at all now i will take that back like if you most people think of Manhattan when they think of New York City for the mm -hmm. most part, and New York, and that is like, I mean, it's That's nothing true. like that. Boroughs but you go to boroughs, that. but the other boroughs still don't remind me of that really. Right. Um, so it, it is interesting, and uh, you know, like I've looked into a number of different videos on London, but I still haven't really like saw videos out walking like this really. So it's very interesting to kind of see the different buildings and stuff yeah. like that, and I'd love to explore this more. And only in London would you find. A hat store. I want a hat like that. A fedora? Is that what you call? I see many people wearing hats Some anymore. I don't know, just something. Like you, I don't even know what you call them, but I, I like those. Going into those hats. a particular shop, you always wonder mm -hmm. what's going on. Probably a dark one. Or maybe a hot chocolate in there. Look at the creativity of this Mr. Going to that garden Fox in this pub here. Tavern. Amazing. Wow. So this area is obviously St. Martin's Lane. Ah. I the first time I did the Christmas side. So are these little side uh, streets or what? I don't know, but what, what I wanted to say, what, now I get what I'm, I'm looking at here. Um, the difference I'm seeing compared to somewhere like New York, New York's buildings are more new. They're newer, generally speaking. Mo the skyscrapers are newer. These are kind of, you got you got so many different buildings. Every, around every corner, the buildings look completely different. Now, you do have different looking buildings in New York, but not to on this scale. But even the streets, though. No, I, I, I agree. Like, these narrow, it more narrow walkways. More stuff. cozy. Cozy. <laughs> yeah. It, for lack of a better word, it seems uh, more quaint compared to other cities. Yeah. Right? I, 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 get, I get what you're saying there. Yeah. And, I, and I'm curious, is it the same way in a lot of, for, for example, Birmingham? In the UK, you know, mm -hmm. just other cities. I, I don't know. I've looked into some of these cities to a certain extent, but I still haven't. For example, like I, I've looked into Manchester and Liverpool, but I still haven't seen walking videos going through all the alleyways and stuff like that. So I still don't understand exactly what they feel like as you're walking through these cities. And I'd like to know that considering how much older these cities are than the cities we will find in the U.S. for right. the most part, you know. So, you know, obviously it's going to be quite different because back then when these cities were built, they probably didn't need quite as much room. room. Space, yeah. yeah, you know, but compared to when, you know, some of these other newer cities in America were being designed, so they built them to be 
wider, mm -hmm. I guess, in the roads and whatnot. But I love stuff like this. I love when you can just walk and you come across these really cool alleyways with the different buildings, the different uh, shops and stuff like that. It just seems really cool. Especially they were Christmas. actually using this for a film. Not quite sure what film it ever was. I love the Christmas trees they've got out here. Look Aww. at them. Really pretty. A casino? Oh my gosh, that's something I've been wondering about. If they have casinos oh, yeah. in the UK. I don't think I've looked that up. I don't think... Yeah, I mean... There is a casino right there. I mean, uh, it makes sense. It surprises me, though. Honestly. It doesn't surprise me, but it like, me. but I like, I, I, I would have assumed that they would have had a casino in London, um, but um, I just, I don't know. I hadn't really thought about that. It'd be interesting. Home casino to look into the yeah. walls of that. My hometown actually has a casino in it, even though it's really small. Yeah, it's like your hometown. What, growing up, thirty five hundred people, maybe. Oh, uh, maybe like. 2,500 2, people <laughs> and bigger, a little bigger now. No, it's what is it? Probably 4,000 4, people. That's what I'm saying. It's bigger now. Yeah, a little bit. It's a very small <laughs> town, but there is a massive, well, technically two massive resorts there, really. I mean, they're connected, but beautiful, beautiful <laughs> resorts in this little town. It's pretty amazing, actually. Um, maybe at some point we'll, we'll probably go there and, and take a little and, vlog or something. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. You still saying though, all the buildings oh, change. Yeah, me too. Bagpipes going on. I mean, you can hear what sounds Look like at the building man a music right festival there. going on. But these are just street performers doing their thing in the middle of Leicester Square, and they really do. Do you admire this architecture as much as I do? The famous <laughs> Odeon Leicester Square. Lots of movie premieres happen around here. Odeon. I think that's that was a movie. theater. Last yeah, the, year, the first time that this popped up. And it seems to be a Christmas event that... What's our famous, our most popular theater brand here? What's it called? Um, Showplace or uh, AMC? It might be AMC. I think it is. I think, I think Odeon is, is it a sister company or they're the same company, different name, something mm -hmm. like, because I remember I uh, did a reaction to the foods at a theater, the theaters, the most popular mm -hmm. theater brands. Mm -hmm. And it, I believe it was Odeon was the theater brand in the UK that was most popular. And then it was AMC. And I believe they were, they were somehow tied together. <laughs> I believe it was like the same mother company or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's how I know um, what that is. Well, at least I think it's what it now. is. This is the second year it's been here. It's like a little Christmas market, but it is really nice in here. Christmas market. Oh. Again, oh, dude, that's cool, grand. man. I like it with the trees. So personally, it's just so ridiculously busy. Oh, my you can't really God. Yeah, enjoy it's it, really can busy. You? Because wow. there's just queues. Man, that's too busy, dude. Yeah, that's to like everywhere. my nightmare. But strangely, it's fairly quiet. <laughs> I need my space. Did you hear that? I thought there'd be like some kind of one way system in I agree with It is very quiet it to how many people there are. You hear that? Mm -hmm. This looks, yeah, this is really cool. In America, it would be like. I don't think it's open yet, though. Yeah. Wow. Mary Love Poppins overlooking everyone as they come in. I Love the movie. A Christmas Pikachu. <laughs> Sophia would love that. To look at the buildings, man. Come on. Yeah. So cool. So cool. Trocadero. Makes me wonder how many, how old some of these buildings are. The angels are. I do feel sorry for the London bus drivers. Street deck. And if you do like doing the Christmas lights, but you can't be bothered to walk, there are now buses in London that do the oh, Christmas lights cool. tour. But even Santa <laughs> oh, wow. is driving Go everyone. <laughs> that is cool. Or don't. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Obviously, because they read the street just in front of me. But why is it that Piccadilly Circus does not have any Christmas lights in this centre bit? Why what? is that? Anyone know? Yeah, that's weird. Are these like the same dark. size? That reminds me of a little bit like Times Square, but mm -hmm. Street. they do look I'm a like little they bit are smaller. the same size. Mm -hmm. Although the ones on Regent Street might be a little bit bigger. And if you just come down Carlton Street, you'll see the little mini winged angels, which I've never come across before. This is the first time I've seen them. I'm sure they've been here before, but a lot of people miss these. And right down the end of the street, you've got this beautiful Christmas tree. Quite understated. Rather elegant. Understood. Loads of people love having their photos taken here. 
Well, I'm here on New Bond Street and they've definitely Ooh, had like a bit that. of an upgrade with their lights this year. Compared to last year. Is this the same thing as that? No, that's something different. Bigger. Still with the crowns. Oh, the, the crowns. They do look more glittery. Oh. Here I am at one of the most expensive shopping streets Sorry. in London. New Bond designer. Street. Okay, I gotta remember like that. He said the one of the most expensive shopping streets in London. I would like just like to check it out just to see what what that's like, you know, yeah. what the prices are in these stores. Like, I can imagine you're talking about London, which is known, at least in my mind, known to be kind of an expensive city and known to kind of have a lot of luxury brands and things yeah. like that. You you got that in your eye in your head too, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's a city. It, right, so like right. But it just seems like the type of city that has a lot of luxury stuff. Yeah. In it. Um, it, and I think it's because, like, London is known to be, like, uh, basically the financial capital of the world. Mm, yeah. And, and so I think you're going to have a lot That's of money true. there, That's you know. That's true. And so I, I, I think to know that it's the financial capital of the world and to know that it has a lot of luxury brands, to see a street that is known to be one of, if not the most expensive shopping streets in London would be very interesting to kind of, you know, explore, mm -hmm. you know, just, I'm not the type, I, I'm really not into luxury brands or you can probably tell that about me, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, I don't know luxury brands, but I, I just find that kind of thing fascinating for some reason, just kind of interesting to see the prices of like, how much is this silverware, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, compared to what you could get uh, at a regular, you know, department store or something like that. But Or yeah. a thrift store. Or a thrift store. <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah, place. yeah. No, no kidding. That would be interesting too. I wonder, like, you the go different in thrift stores. Different in like consignment I I shops and thrift stores, that, that type of thing. It'd be really interesting to see what that's kind of like. Mm -hmm. You know, I still I haven't looked into either, uh, but yeah. Everywhere you look. Wow. And. Hey, so they're sponsoring dude. Harrods this Christmas as well, Christian Dior. Dior. Very similar light display to what's on the front of Harrods. Cartier with a big bow. I know that brand. The building. Wow, look at that building, dude. Pretty special. So, customers outside the that parking their Range Rover. Crazy. I'm curious if Porsche. these department stores go Porsche. all the way up to the top. You, you can know what I mean? When you got money. Or if they're just like the first two floors or something like that. Sorry, I'm in Ferrari. You could probably guess where I'm going next. No, I can't. I have no idea. <laughs> where is he going? But I don't know anything about London, so. It's one of the most photographed Ooh. shops in London. I feel like I've heard of that. Them I have not, like, looked at stuff in the actual store, but I did a video, um, what was it? It was was that the oh, video? Oh, was that the place where you I did the, the tea. tea video? Yeah, that yeah, okay. I did the tea tea time video. I didn't see it, so, but I remember you talking about that. So I learned the very basics of it was a department store there, but I never looked into it, and I've been wanting to because and it's expensive, right? Yeah, it's like from what I understand, really... it's a pretty expensive place. I believe yeah. it might not. It's not the most expensive, but it's it's on up there. I believe more like a you know, anyway. Jason with their advent calendar Look at windows. That. Oh, they've got an advent Must take a long time to get these up. Their yeah, window displays are quite different. That's pretty good display. These lights always get me. <laughs> wow. Sophia would love looking at all this stuff. Especially she? like this one. A lot of time has gone into this window. It's a lot more immersive walking down. I here, love though. the blue. I, I, Through the blue I love the blue lights. I like it, but it's not quite people as often flashy. Ask me, Do people walk into me? The answer is yes. Man. Do That's I have pretty. to edit them out? Yes. It really is. Look how it lights up the buildings. And then it finishes off it with feels, a blue It feels wintry to me, the blue lights. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love the blue lights, man. It's probably one of my favorite Christmas colors. Really? Even well, though it's technically not a Christmas Street color. Street is oh, like Carnaby Street. Carnaby. Now, last year's Christmas lights were a little bit too spring-like for me. Yes, I they like were colorful. It. Lots of flowers <laughs> and butterflies. This year, they're going for a bit of a solar system theme. Saturday night in Carnaby Street. Blimey. Soho. <laughs> Soho. Yeah. It's pretty good. Love well, those well, well, huge well. paper garlands. Yes. They look metal. Yeah, they do. I remember making those at school. 
don't think I've made them since I was at school, actually. Randomly, what look like jellyfish. Ew. They do, actually. <laughs> Just had jellyfish. So you got a bit of everything this year. Solar system, a bit of a 90s vibe, and also fish. <laughs> yep. There's a shark up there. All right, guys. Uh, this was really, really, really interesting to see London from this mm -hmm. side. Um, definitely gave me a new perspective on what it looks like to kind of walk around London. Not just the Christmas lights, but like I was saying, this is the first time I've kind of got to see someone take us for a tour walking mm -hmm. around the city of London. And it's the first time I've ever really seen London. Other than maybe in some movies. You yeah, see some like a little pieces. bit here and there. It was really interesting to see certain buildings and whatnot that I, I recognize from somewhere, and I don't know how I recognize these places. Yeah. Um, you know, probably from movies or something, but... Uh, Looks like wherever we were seen, the places we were seen look really cool. Uh, they do a great job decorating for Christmas. I mean, these are some of the best light, not light show, what do you call displays. this? Displays. That I've ever seen. And I yeah. especially love how the department stores put on these different uh, displays and whatnot as well. Um, but uh, this definitely seems like a city if you're looking for somewhere to go in the winter, uh, you know, near Christmas time. Very festive. Yeah, it seems like a great place to explore. Um, I, I obviously, I'm guessing other cities within the UK do, you know, decorate and stuff. I don't know if they do it on this level because this is kind of insane. Yeah, it's on I, scale. I personally have never lived anywhere that they go this, <laughs> this go in this much uh, detail decorating right. and whatnot. Um, but what'd you think? It's beautiful. It makes me yeah. want to go there at Christmas. Yeah, I, I was thinking, man, I've been told uh, by people, oh, you, you don't want to go to the UK during during winter mm -hmm. uh, or the cold months. And, and I'm thinking, well, that kind of makes sense. I mean, you're not going to be able to have as much fun exploring outdoors right. and stuff. But there is unique stuff like this that I'm sure is going on throughout the UK that is probably just another reason to visit during the winter. Right. And so uh, I think it just depends on uh, what you're looking to do more. Are you looking to be outside and explore the coast and stuff like that more? Are you looking to be kind of explore more of the indoor type stuff? Um, it would be, be good to see it both times. Right. Yeah, our goal is to eventually get over for the first time. It's just really expensive, and we got to uh, <laughs> some, somehow come up with the money to do that. Um, uh, you know, but then we want to get over – multiple times after that because there's no way we can visit everywhere we want to go one two three okay. times it's going to take us quite a few times to explore you know everywhere <laughs> so uh but that's not really what this video is about but uh yeah i thought this was really cool um i'm glad that uh, we were recommended to check out the christmas market even though we didn't check out the christmas market specifically it uh, allowed us to come across this video that mm -hmm. um we got to see these christmas lights so um, and we might do the Christmas market yeah, later. Yeah, I, I think we saw a little bit. We did see a, a little, little bit of a Christmas market. I don't yeah. know if there's multiple. I think from when we were looking for a video for today, there it looked like a, a lot of the cities in the UK do Christmas yeah. markets. Yeah, we were seeing that. We were, you know, I'd only heard of like the London Christmas market. Then we're seeing, what, Birmingham Christmas market. I think, does he? Even uh, I saw Scotland. Yeah, um, was it? Was it? No, I can't remember what city it was. But yeah, it was some city in Scotland was doing a Christmas market. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're just all over the UK. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Ireland has them too. I'm not really sure. But anyways, guys, enough rambling from us. You got anything to add? No. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to discover our British and Irish ancestry. Till next time, guys. Peace. Bye.